So in this lesson, we're going to use Solver to solve an optimization problem with two variables. So let's do a utility maximization problem. Let's say that your uh, Q1, Q2, let's now actually have an alpha, let's actually have a beta, let's have a utility, P1, P2, income, and now let's say total expenditure. Now again, to make this spreadsheet easy to see, let's name all these cells. And now you'll see that we can go to formulas, create from selection again, like this. Let's assume that you have one unit of good one, one unit of good two. Let's say alpha is equal to 0.5, beta is equal to 0.5. And for the heck of it, let's say, let's do a Cobb-Douglas. That'll be Q1 to the power alpha multiplied by Q2 to the power beta. Let's say P1 is 10, P2 is 5, and say income is 100. What's your expenditure? Well, that's P1 multiplied by Q1 plus P2 times Q2. We now want to choose Q1, Q2. Those are decision variables to maximize our utility subject to expenditure equal to income. Go to data, solver. So here's what we're going to do. Our objective of course is to maximize utility. We want to maximize this because we're happy people. Changing cells, Q1 and Q2. Subject to the constraint that expenditure is equal to income. Say OK. Now you'll notice that this is a slightly different problem from the last one. There we actually had to do revenue maximization and we had to artificially create another cell that was equal to quantity and tell Solver to set quant that artificial quantity equal to capacity in order to give the Lagrange multipliers. Here we don't have to because no constraint in simple form of quantity being equal to something. It's actually expenditure equal to income. And that's something that Solver will be able to tell you the Lagrange multiplier for. The only time you have to fool Excel is, of course, when you have constraints like Q is equal to 10, or something that's directly on the decision variables. We press Solve. Let's solve it. And now we get, let's say, Answer Sensitivity Limits. And then you will notice that these are the operable quantities, 5 and 10. Expenditure, of course, equals income. If you look at the answer report, it summarizes the utility, optimal quantities, expenditure, tells you some binding constraint, as in like expenditure equals income. If you look at the sensitivity report, it gives you the Lagrange multiplier and expenditure. It tells you expenditure is equal to income 100. The fact that this number is not zero tells you that, of course, the constraint was that expenditure must be equal to 100 and you have a Lagrange multiplier of 0.07, which means that if you, roughly speaking, increase income by $1 from 100 to 101, your utility will go up by 0.07. In fact, there's an easy way to check this as actually true. Go back to the original problem. Notice that your utility is equal to 0.7.07. So I'm just going to write 7.07 right now. Now let's go back and change our income to 101. And I should now, if I solve the problem again, the new utility minus the old utility should be equal to that Lagrange multiplier you saw there. Let's do it. Say solve. I say solve. This time I don't request the reports. Just simply say OK. And now you will notice that the new utility is 7.14 minus the old one is 7.07, .07, which is 0 0.071, which is exactly roughly equal to what you had as a Lagrange multiplier over here. 